The Jacksonville Super League is bringing women's soccer, women's pro soccer to the first coast. So we want to welcome Mauricio Ruiz with the Jax USL. I wanted to make sure I got that right. Thank you so much for joining us and how exciting. Yeah, it really is exciting. Our team just got announced a couple of weeks ago in a local market. The league has announced it for about a month now. Okay. Uh, so now they're starting to go out and roll out into which cities the mm -hmm. team will be coming into. So uh, we're really honored to have Jacksonville as one of the Super League uh, franchises. Do, wait, do, so do we have a name for the team? Then, yeah. We don't quite yet. So okay. We're working through the name oh, uh, and hopefully that gets announced in the next couple of months. Oh, that's so exciting. So what does this mean for girls and women um, who are wanting to be athletes or already are? Yeah, so that's really the impactful part of what we're doing, right? Obviously, bringing a pro organization into town, it's fun. It's fun for the community. But what's going to mean for the young ladies right. into town? And right now, North Florida generally produces quite a bit of high-level athletes and, okay. and soccer athletes. That's nice. We have several of them playing at the SEC, ACC schools and doing really, really really well. We think this will accelerate that process and even create more high level athletes here. Uh, so they have the aspiration and the vision to be able to play professional sports in their own city. So it sounds like you're already taking mental notes, right? Who's who's good? Who are we going to keep an eye on, right? Absolutely. So when do you expect the season to start and where will the team play? So 2025 and 2026 is when we expect to come into market. Okay. The league, the Super League will inaugurate in 2024. So that'll be the first time that the first in inaugural eight teams will be playing professional women's soccer in the U.S. And then we in Jacksonville will be coming on in 25, 26. It's pending the construction of our stadium. So we're looking to develop a community stadium that will be kind of centralized into our entire North Florida First Coast community. So we're working through those details right now. Okay, so exciting. So we'll be checking in with you again, I'm sure. Absolutely. Uh, Mayor Deegan joined you for the announcement, and I understand you had a surprise for her. Yeah, and it really <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a gift. It was a gift for us to have her there. Right. She was so enthusiastic and energetic about her presence. It really speaks to her direction and her and her, and her administration will be going supporting efforts like this, especially mm -hmm. the first women mayor, including the right. first women's sports franchise here in Jacksonville yeah. too, which was super excited. So um, Amanda Vandevoort, the president of the Super League, came up from the Tampa headquarters and brought her the first official uh, Jax USL a Super League this? jersey, so oh, that's the jersey. So, that, so that's our scarf, which is uh, which is nice. And then that <laughs> will cool. that will not be our colors. That's the Super oh, League colors. Okay. You look very Florida Gator right now with your blue and your <laughs> oh, orange. Oh, I do. Go Gators. That that is not that's not a hint. <laughs> Uh, we're looking through the colors as well right now, but yeah, we're able to get her with that? a nice jersey that had her name on it, Aww. had her number, so and she was she championed it. She was, she oh, was that's awesome. that's so nice. Okay, so how can fans get involved? How can they get updates? I know we still have a little while to go, mm -hmm. but where can they go to get more information? Yeah, so we're pretty active right now. Like as I mentioned, we're going to start in 2025, but we have a lot of events and a lot of announcements that'll be leading up to it. So to stay connected to it, jacksusl.com, be able to get all the updates, newsletters, and also sign up for season ticket deposits. We're taking them right now several hundred deposits already come through oh, wow. so excited to know the level of excitement that's coming right. in to bring this to, to fruition okay well awesome congratulations on everything and I can't wait to hear more as it uh, progresses so thank you thank you for having Jordan of course uh, and what's new at EWU well yesterday I spoke with Dr. A Zachary Faison president and CEO of Edward Waters University to learn about some recent changes check this out